All right, let's get going. We have two. We have x to the third. We have y to the negative third. And we have negative second power being applied to all of that. And this is similar to the next example, which I will approach in a different way. So if you like to compare and contrast, then kind of choose what's best for you. Make sure you check out the other one. So this time around, I'm going to deal with this y to the negative third early on. Now, is this necessarily what I would do in a real situation? I don't know, but I'm just giving you options, okay? So if that comes down to the bottom, it's now y to the third. What did stay on top? The two, which again, it's two to the one. A lot of you act like you're too cool for that one and then you screw up. So you ain't getting any sympathy from me if you mess up when you didn't put that one there when I warn you all the time. I mean, come on. And this whole guy over here is to the negative second power. Now, I don't know why that's happening, sorry. Okay, so next up, this would be more ideal if that power right here were positive, but it's negative. So I may have normally wanted to approach something like this um, in the method I'm gonna do for number 34. So just keep that in mind, okay? So from here, two to the first to the negative second, that's two to the negative second. Multiply your powers, that two um, the base of two does not multiply with the negative two. No, 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 no. And this does not become negative. Also, no, 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 no. X, negative six, and Y, also negative six. So you kind of see how it's a little counterproductive to have brought the Y down when I'm just gonna be flipping everything back over. But that's why I show you things, right? So we can kind of see what's happening. So it's just showing the arrows on the lines because it's it might blend together a bit. So from here, what would I see? Well, my new numerator is y to the sixth. My new denominator is two to the second. Stop trying to be a hero and evaluate two to the negative second and move it at the same time, like relax. And x to the sixth. Okay, and how does that finish up, you ask? Final thing, y to the sixth can stay. 2 to the 2nd should be evaluated, it's nothing that hard. And x to the 6th is right there. The 6s don't reduce, nothing else changes. Lovely, beautiful, amazing, very good. All right, so hope you get the same thing. Want to see a different way to approach one like this, please check out the next video, number 34, which is on the screen. And look at the playlist if you need to hand select uh, the videos you want to watch on a case-by-case -case basis, so good luck. <laughs>